the Swedish comic scene is smaller, absolutely, but uh, since the 1960s, there has slowly been like growing, growing, and maybe before there was more mainstream, and now it's more the alternative comic scene has become the new mainstream almost. So it's been a sort of a reverse. But the French comics market is, is huge, and, and I want to help introduce the Swedish artists here for them to, to grow the possibility of actually making a living out of what they do. One of the biggest genres in Sweden is, is political feminism. That's a big, big genre in Sweden, making comics that comment on, on, on social issues from a feminist perspective. Those are the best-selling authors in, in Sweden making comics in that genre. Mine is more about um, sexism and uh, a rape culture. So, um, how to grow up uh, in Sweden as um, somebody seen as a girl or as a girl. I'm really surprised. I had, I, I mean, I couldn't imagine that it, it would be translated. Uh, it's about my um, work as a taking care of old people. I thought it was very specific Swedish, but obviously it can be read in other countries as well. My imagery uh, is inspired also by fairy tale illustration tradition that has been in Sweden. The, the things I'm working with is very close to dreams and uh, close to uh, poetry. Of course we have had comics in Sweden, uh, but also uh, they have translated comics from abroad. So when I grew up in the 1970s, there were a lot of French comics, French Belgium comics like uh, the, the classics, uh, Tintin, Asterix, Lucky Luke. So we read all those and the Swedish comics. That was a huge inspiration for me. If you ask me if my comics are very Swedish, I'm not sure. My comic could, could be more universal. I'm not sure that they are very Swedish. Maybe they are. I'm not aware of it. So. <laughs>